to attend a new effort to address gaps in information and access to records that tell the story of gay rights in our state. TMJ4's Ryan Jenkins has a first look at the Wisconsin First Archive Project. There's uh, different gay icons like Divine and Grace Jones and David Bowie. Um, these people helped us through difficult times, you know. When we needed a, some place to celebrate, this, these were the places to come to when you couldn't be yourself anywhere else. And now we can be ourselves a lot of other places, and that's a fantastic thing. Step inside Bill Wardlow's Walker's Point Bar and you'll find the celebration of queer icons and safe spaces. I've been here since 1984. I moved here from Iowa. Wardlow talked to me on Friday just before the 40th anniversary of Wisconsin's gay rights bill, signed by Republican Governor Lee Dreyfus in 1982. The bill decriminalized homosexuality and granted anti-discrimination protections to gay and lesbian people. When this bill was passed into law, I was 19 years old already. It's not lost on Wardlow how far the community has come in the fight for LGBTQ rights. These were untold stories that were kept hidden and unseen for a long time. A new project called the Wisconsin First Archive Project aims to make sure these stories about the fight for these rights is never lost. This is a concentrated effort to bring together all of the paperwork, photography, um, oral histories, memorabilia, all of the storytelling components of how this happened. Michael Takash leads this preservation effort. He tells me this new project funded by the National Archives allows researchers to dedicate resources to document and digitally archive historic moments in Wisconsin's LGBTQ history. Right now, these elements are scattered. They're in the Wisconsin Historical Society. They're in archives in Milwaukee and in Madison. They're in the private homes and collections of former politicians who are reaching the end of their public lives. And there's really not a linear collected story for students, educators, historians, archivists, legislators, politicians to study. The project creates a one-stop shop where people can access information. Takash says it also combats any efforts to overturn or censor progress made by the LGBTQ community. The words of one of our earliest Wisconsin gay rights elders, Eldon Murray, ring true where he said that the rights that we have must be constantly guarded or you will see them taken away and never has that been more true than in the past few years in america an effort to archive the good and the bad showing wisconsin's place as a progressive state in the fight for lgbtq rights and what's that saying if you don't remember the past you're condemned to repeat it and i guarantee you um, speaking to the younger generation you don't want to repeat some of the things that we've seen Reporting in Milwaukee, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News. All right, Ryan, thanks. If all goes as planned, organizers hope to complete the archival process by the end of June, which is also known as Pride Month.